Assalamu alaikum I'm Hina Ijaz welcome to Pakistan guess who we are welcoming today we have a guest from Brazil it's his second time in Pakistan he's a part of and have been a part of uh, the largest music festivals in Europe he has come and played in Pakistan before and this time he's again here for another music festival a music festival started by Imtisal Zafar 5 years ago he is ceo for verve events and also started uh, a music festival in pakistan by the name wired well what is wired we shall exactly tell you about that it's a very different kind of music that uh, a different kind of genre of music being played in this music festival i cannot explain that i'm not the expert well imtisal shall do so assalam alaikum thank you for joining in, in, in imtisal <coughs> and bringing in rick and i must say you are pretty much an ambassador for pakistan bringing in various foreign nationals here to come and play and apart from back. that you've been hosting a lot of uh, foreigners from um, south america europe everywhere around the world so thank you and congratulations thank you very much for acknowledging and we have rick brail of course your second visit here hi rick how are you yes i'm good thank well, you well you've been playing for the past 9 years i believe yes i started 9 years ago and in uh, what well, in the largest music festivals in europe i hear yes it was like i play around the world and i'm so happy to be here you're pretty much a global citizen i must yes. say yes <laughs> i'd like to find out more about your experiences um about uh, playing in europe and playing in pakistan it's uh, your second visit here i believe imtisal has taken you around to a lot of places of course you've seen uh, lahore's um, uh, culture the beauty the old lahore i i hear from you imtisal is that correct the history and also the salt mines i shall hear about <laughs> that and i would uh, like to find more about your country as well there's so much to discover in brazil as well but before that i'd like you to go and take a look at this report that we have prepared on brazil looking at these gorgeous visuals these images these videos i feel like flying to brazil instantly can i fly to brazil instantly oh yeah sure and is entry <laughs> open for tourists uh, yes it's open now and uh, it's an amazing place you i know love... all my life well i haven't been to brazil and i do want to go for sure whenever i heard uh, the term the country's name brazil it instantly uh, popped that fun word in my brain box it's Our all about world. fun music yeah living your life to the fullest and enjoying it is that true rick it's that true and you have like a, a culture to different cultures around brazil because brazil is huge 
but all of them have uh, music and uh, you know to have fun and how to live your life fullest. So I would call it the fun capital of the world. I think so. Right? I think so because I, I travel around the world. I didn't find any uh, culture or people now the Brazilians. You no, know? like it's super different, and uh, the people are always happy. You are always like having fun and smiling. And I think this is the best part to live there. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> well, the language spoken in Brazil is Portuguese. It's Portuguese, yes. So, um, how difficult is it to communicate there? I'd like to ask him, Tassal, given you've been there as a tourist. So, I, when we were talking about how amazing the country is, the culture and everything, I went there for the first time in 2016. And I think I've been five times already. So you've been technically going every year. Every year, <laughs> literally. And now I can understand written Portuguese just by kind of understanding, uh, interest in the language. It's still difficult to understand like them talking, but, but it's a different language, obviously. It's very different. It's very different. But, but you've but, got a... But when you uh, uh, see words again and again and again, you start understanding what this is saying. Okay, repeat one word for me, for example. Something that you'd hear there regularly. Safado. <laughs> what, what's that? What's we will that? not say what it means, but yeah. So okay, I look like... up, I can always ask Google, right? So uh, but no, not for Google's camera. Google's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rick, tell me, um, you came to Pakistan. When was the first time that you came? It was five years ago. Five years ago. Yeah. And then Imtisal has been going to Brazil. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So f five years ago, when you landed in Pakistan, I'm sure there must be stories <laughs> that you must have heard about the country. Oh yes. Uh, you must have been told, oh, it's not safe. Oh, don't go there and things like that. Blah blah blah. But upon mm. arrival, did your opinion change? Oh my God, totally. It was blown my mind because you know when I. Even when I talk with my mom or my dad, I say, I will go to play in Pakistan. They say, oh no, please. <laughs> Are you sure it's safe? And I say, so I have my best friend, he's DJ also, he came here before me. And he was playing here and he told me, it's totally safe, you will love there, please right. go. And I say, okay, I will trust him. And then when I arrived here, it was completely different what I thought because what what the, the image what the Brazilians have is the image from the news, from the uh, from the journal, and we have a totally different image. Did you ever know that we held music festivals? Oh too? yeah, <laughs> I didn't know at all. The people say they have parties there. Yeah. And I say yeah, they have it. And we also like to have fun, and especially Lahore is so full of life. You know? Yeah, and I was so happy to can change the mentality of everybody who is on, on, on my social media yeah. and saw the pictures, saw the videos and saw and I, I'm on the street and uh, having fun and I'm so happy to have the opportunity to Music to is a very big part of our culture, of course. Lahore culture. Yeah. We like to have fun. We have, of course, there's a different genre altogether, but uh, people like to have fun. So tell me about Wired Music Festival in Tessal. It started five years ago. How did the idea come about? It was a risk that you were willing to take and you took that risk and worth it. Um, it was very difficult in the beginning to be honest with you. There were people who uh, instantly either hated it, especially came from the music community. Because the it music community yes, itself hated, hated because no way. they were not used to this style of music. Okay, can you explain it for our audience? Yes. What kind of music so, are we exactly talking about? So, so the genre of music is called circuit house or tribal house, and um, it is very happy. It's very vocal. It is very dancey, very heavy on the drums. Um, a lot of the, the uh, top 40 songs that you hear are remixed and they play. So people are singing along. It's not like what is currently status quo at uh, music festivals over here. So that is why a lot of the DJs first thing was, oh, it's so commercial. And I had to really face that and stick to what I believed in, that this is going to be something different. Well, it's become big now. It Wired. has. Wired. And it has a unique identity. Absolutely. People know that they will come to an event like this and 
it will be a memorable night. Well, FYI, I'd like to show you a video of uh, the kind of music that Im Imtisal is referring to and some glimpses from Wired. Let's take a look at it, please. So this is exactly what we were talking about. Uh, Imtisal, you mentioned people said that it's commercial. Uh, well, then everything's commercial. Any kind of music that you make, you want to sell it. Yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, what I think what the circuit does is that it makes it relatable. Uh, so for people who are attending, when something comes on that they know, it is a lot more fun. And you're with your friends, you can sing along, so it's a lot more fun. Right. And last night we had an event where Rick was playing for us and uh, we people saw loved the images. It. Gorgeous. People loved and it. And with your event management background, you ensure that it looks great as well. It right? has to. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does. We shall talk more about Brazil and Rick's life. Rick's life in Brazil and Rick in Pakistan. Let's talk about it, but right after this short break. Well, we have a Brazilian DJ in the house today and we are welcoming him again to Pakistan because it's his second visit to Pakistan. So Rick, where all have you been in Lahore and have you been to any other city in Pakistan? Oh yes, I've been here in a lot of places. In Tissau, uh, introduced me to the Pakistan culture and the food and uh, we went to the, the fort. We went to the border with uh, India. Wow! <laughs> yeah. So you almost went to India as well. <laughs> yes, almost. It was like a, almost. A, yes, a meters. I will be in India. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> and then I went to salt mines, and uh, I have an amazing experience on tuk tuk. <laughs> oh, you sat on the yes, rickshaw. Yes, it tuk -tuk. was so amazing. I never. I love when I go to a place I never been. I love to feel like I'm from there. You know. Yeah and see the people and talk with the people. And I remember when we went to, to which place and they have a lot of people oh, asking to take a picture. Uh, at the that? fort. At the fort. And he has tattoos. And you know, suddenly there's a oh. foreigner and they want to grab his hand, take a picture with him. It was very You were a celebrity. Well, you are, a, you yeah. are an international celebrity. Well, officially, officially in Pakistan today, you're on TV as well. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> So you are going to be a very common face around here oh, for us. Nice. Now. I mean, you, you're, nice. you're our celebrity now. Oh, thank so, you. So, um, what was the best uh, um, experience in terms of um, uh, coming to Lahore? And did you enjoy the food the most? Did you, did you enjoy the company? Uh, did you enjoy the culture? What was it? I think uh, the most important thing was uh, have the possibility to change the idea of everybody from Brazil, from the United States, who isn't on my Instagram or in my Facebook. They saw it and I, I received a lot of messages saying, oh my God, that's so nice. That's so cool. I would like, I'd love to go to Lahore. Yes. And um, because when I arrived here, the first thing was like, Change my mentality about this, you know. Like I have on my mind was only only about war in, on the streets, you know. You I thought didn't you're realize. landing in a war zone, but it's yeah. so not the case. <laughs> yeah, you know, like and you have like uh, this mentality, and it was is weird because it's such amazing place, such amazing country, 
And uh, I think the best part is can show to everybody about the real Pakistan and the real Lahore. How is this? How uh, how do the people look live like? How did people welcome you here? Yeah, exactly. It was how amazing. Did they? It was 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 amazing. Like Intisal introduced me to everybody, and everybody was so kind. Everybody was talking to me like a real friend. I, I became friend of a lot of what people here. What did you enjoy the most? Uh, out of all the places that Im Imtisal took you to? Oh, I think... Uh, I think it was... I think it was the South Mine. It was yeah. so... I loved that. We, we, we spent like, I think, at least like four or five hours there. Amazing. Yeah, and then uh, I was with another DJ. Of, it, it was my first time here when I was here for the first time. And I was with another Brazilian DJ and we had a lot of fun. Oh, you Alberto. had another Brazilian DJ yeah. at, at the time first time. when, when he Rick came, came in. the first time, yes, the they were two time. together. In fact, on the note what you were talking about, um, changing perceptions, uh, HSY called me last night and he was like, I just got a text from some friends in the US and they sent me a screenshot of Wired's page. Uh, and that's he's like, brilliant. And he's like, Is, does this happen in Pakistan? Are you sure? And he was like, Yes, he's my best friend. So, just people just cannot understand that this can also happen here. Yeah. So it's yeah. a great feeling. And I think you're taking back all these positive experiences back to Brazil. I hope and so. And when you tell people about it, the first time, for example, the first time when you came to Pakistan, you went back to Brazil with all these positive experiences and you narrated them to your friends, your family, everybody you knew, how did they react? Uh, they were they were shocked. They were shocked, like me when I arrived here, uh, because uh, my family was afraid to uh, to come here. You can imagine, like uh, the people when after I showed the pictures and the videos of everything, of every place I went, they were shocked and they were happy because they they have a new place to go. They want to go here. My family really really want to go here. And then uh, I was so happy to finally show the truth about Lahore and about Pakistan. So were you a little skeptical before coming to Pakistan? Again, referring to your first trip, that how is the crowd going to uh, perceive your music here? Because obviously you come from a great, great distance. You're in Brazil, we're in Pakistan, we're on the other side of the world. You didn't know much about how people with thinking here in terms of um, identifying with music. Yeah. So were you a little apprehensive? What, what a, what a, it's always, I always being apprehensive because when I go to a place I've never been. And but this to, was a totally different place altogether on the yeah, east. Yeah, it's On totally the other different. side of the world. Exposed to this yes. music. Yeah. So we, we do have a niche for this kind of music, yeah. but of course, were you afraid or frightened to a certain level? Sure, and, but Insao made me feel so comfortable and he told me uh, his, uh, his reason to bring me is because he would like to people heard about my music and I, always when I come to a place I've never been, I try to bring some elements or some thing about the culture so, do you plan to come back again to Pakistan? I hope you don't take another five years. Yeah, no, I <laughs> hope I, I can become earlier because I love here. And um, I, 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 I made so many friends here and they are so kind. So Would you go to Karachi? Would you like I, to explore yeah, the Karachi market? I would love to market? go there. Last time I was supposed to go, but we didn't have time to go. I'm trying to also push the envelope in Karachi. Mm -hmm. They are also not exposed to this. It took me five years to there get... There was some event, some time ago. It happens. Yes. But uh, this music that has been introduced to people here and they love it now, has taken me five years uh, to fight this well, battle. Well, yes, now it's acceptable to, for people they love to it. embrace a music festival. Yes. So in Europe and other parts of the world, in the developed countries, there are tons and tons of music festivals. Mm -hmm. And uh, Imtisal, I believe you have been to many music festivals. Yes. Um, how different is it, uh, the Pakistani music festival scene, from the ones uh, that you've done in Europe, for example, if we were to compare? Uh, I can compare and, and I say here you have so much energy yeah. from the crowd. Usually when I play when I play in Europe the people are more they like, they have fun, you can see. 
but it's only like superficial. Here, you can see the people looking at you and feel the real energy. I told him, I never feel this energy in all my entire life. Me and the other DJ, we were like, what's this? I feel, I can feel like the goosebumps from the people like uh, look at me and uh, having fun and you enjoying. Can see electrical currents on the floor, I believe. Oh my God. Uh, the DJ who came uh, is also his friend, my friend, who right. came after him said that this is by he's been playing for 20 years by far the top three gigs of his entire career really yeah. the crowd was mad they were encouraging him it's just it's so nice to see people receptive to what you're doing for them and if you're not receptive i mean if the crowd is not if your audience is not receptive <laughs> I think that kills half the um, elements. Course. Absolutely, and uh, the energy that brings to the event. Yes. It uh, uh, DJs feed off it, and they want to do better. Absolutely. So, how did you become a DJ? Of course, you were born in the land of music. Mm, yeah. But uh, how did you go towards? But but I was born in a small city in Brazil, on really? south. Yes. Uh -huh. And then uh, when I was with 20 years old. One of my best friends was a promoter in a party and he invited me to go to a um, DJ school to learn about the music and uh, maybe become a DJ. So and then formal education in this? Yeah, yeah, at, like, at least right. like three months in a school Excellent. to learn about, uh, about all the things about the electronic music right. and then uh, how to play, how to, um, uh, to, to learn about the, the story of the music, of the electronic music right. around the world. So this is a good thing, you, you know? know? DJing, of, often people think that it's a very simple thing. You go and play music, but it's not like that. I would like to understand what goes on in a DJ's mind when interacting with the crowd and playing for them. How do you lift up their spirits? It's like uh, you command a party, you know, if you are not a good DJ or if you are not playing a good song, the, the party will finish. So you feel like very anxious because you are like the people who is like uh, commanding that, you know, so I feel uh, a little bit uh, anxious before I go to a place I've never been. And then after I play the first song, I become like uh, a little comfortable. more comfortable, yeah. And then uh, I can feel and then like you feel uh, the mood of the crowd. I can see like is 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 uh, naturally now. I can see and I can feel what the people uh, need, like musically, you know, right. to have fun. And and then I test some things. I put some songs. You and experiment I see too. How, exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. We're gonna go towards a short break. We shall continue this interesting conversation. See you after this break. Welcome back. Some interesting facts about Brazil. It's the fifth most, it's the fifth largest country in the world by area and the sixth most populous in the world. A large country with a large population, people who like to have fun. So let's not say that there aren't people in the world who don't like to have fun. There are people, lots of them, and you find them in Brazil and in Pakistan too. Let's not forget that. So Imtisal, you've been to Brazil five times now. You say you understand a little bit of the language spoken there, which is Portuguese. Um, tell us about the food, the culture. So, you know, one of the things that I observed is that there's so many similarities between Brazilian people and Pakistani people. Fun is number one. Fun, <laughs> but more than that, hospitable. All mm. of them. They're very warm, they're very hospitable, they are extremely friendly. Um, and those are things that family oriented, mm -hmm. all of that. And those were things that I immediately thought that, okay, this is very similar, similar to Similar to our culture, absolutely. Very similar to our culture. Um, they want to have a good time. We want to have less of a good time here. There's a lot of other things going on in our lives. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, for them, it's just, you know, having a great time every day yeah. of the day, week. And so, what places to visit? What do you um, recommend? The city that took my breath away was Rio. Of you know, course. it's just, I've not seen anything like this in the world. It's just stunning. So Sao it's Paulo's not overhyped or overhyped? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, it's believe the hype. 
Okay. So it is stunning. The culture, the uh, things to see over there. There's so much natural beauty. Yes. Um, and you know, the people are beautiful. Brazilians are just generally beautiful people. Yeah. And they're nice people. So that makes it even more fun. Even though they don't speak your language, doesn't but they will matter. Still, they will doesn't still matter. go ahead and do. Uh, you know, they will tell you by hand. This, that, or they'll make you understand what they're trying right. to say. Right. And what about the food? If you can explain us the food um, palette, what is, what is it? Very like? different from Pakistan. Right. Uh, but um, the, my favorite thing in Brazil is their Brazilian barbecue. It's the churrascaria. Yeah. Uh, it's so. How do you explain that? Um, okay. So what they do is it's a very interesting concept. You go to a particular restaurant that is dedicated to this kind of food, right. and they bring uh, all uh, different parts of the beef uh, on skewers, and they bring it to your table, right. slice it in front of you, and they put it on your table, and it is fresh off the grill. Wow! It is stunning, and there's just salt and pepper. That's it. Right. The quality of the beef is so good. Um, that's my favorite dining experience in Brazil, right. definitely. And the beaches, tell me about the beaches. So nice. I mean, so relaxing. Um, there's so much activity happening. Like, for example, if I compare it to a beach in Miami, right. boring. Right. Extremely boring. Right. Um, beaches in Brazil, people are playing, they're having a it's good fun. time, it's Full of fun. Life. They're just people, you know, everywhere. Um, so I love that about Brazil. Like, and they stunning have views. A, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. It's a, uh, it's a, everything about it is beautiful. Hmm. I'm going to show you a few images <coughs> as per the tradition of this show. Some images from Brazil and some images from Pakistan. Imtisal, I'd like you to comment on the images from Pakistan and Rick. Of course, you can comment on the Brazilian side. So let's take a look at that, please. So we're just trying to compare the two. That's Gavad. Yeah. <laughs> but Oops. yes, yes, we do have pretty places. That's not Rio. No, no, this is no. Uh, on north. Yeah. Okay, and what's oh, that? So that's uh, Sao Paulo Cathedral? Uh, yeah, this is Cathedral in Sao Paulo, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, it looks like exactly like <laughs> here. Uh, that's what? We, we pick up the images very, very smartly. Look, uh -huh. check this out. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, oh, this is believable. This is, where this is believable. Yeah. Where Very. Where it's currently from. happening up north. Yes, yes. We're going south. So, things to do in Brazil. Please, Rick, oh comment. Oh my god, we have uh, an amazing... The beaches are amazing. Yes, number one. And number two. Number two is like... I think the food... He told about the, the barbecue. Yeah. But they have one everybody loves when they come there is uh, feijoada. Feijoada. It's like the beans. And we have with rice together, and they put all the meat together with the beans, and they made like for two hours. Right. In a um, in a um, pressure in a pressure cook, and then um, we have we eat with with uh, orange fruit together, and farofa. I don't know the name mm -hmm. in English farofa. here. And it tastes exactly like our lobia. Oh. Exactly okay, the same. Okay, got so it. We put everything together. And we eat is amazing. The flavor, the sweet with the salty thing together is so like. So you recommend uh, the one thing that yes. you've forgotten to tell us about is acai. Oh, acai! Oh my God! Yes. That is. Uh, why don't you tell her what it is? So it's like a fruit from Brazil, uh -huh. and then we. It's originally from there, so it's very hard to uh, to send away so yeah. that's why we always find in, so you in can Brazil do it yeah <laughs> and so then we the, put some how ice cream like? so, so it looks like, like it's a, a, ice cream. a smoothie ice cream kind of a thing like yum. a frozen yogurt yeah. and you put toppings on it it is delicious it's amazing. it is un, it's purple colored so if you go to brazil you have to try this okay, Please. yes, yes. <laughs> i think i've seen it on the internet yeah. yes it's like a course. purple of one course. very yes. strong I haven't tasted it as And you know, like in on North, we usually take with uh, salt food together, like with rice. We took acai with rice. It's oh. so weird. No, but yeah. it's I, I like such combos. Sweet. I don't know. I have a thing for yeah, such combos. On North, they eat okay. every right. day. <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, you would definitely recommend a trip to Brazil uh, for the people watching this show. I tell every one of my friends once before you die, 
Brazil has. The younger die. you are, the better your experience will <laughs> but be. But one yeah. definitely must, must visit Brazil. And it's so nice to see that Brazilians love Pakistan as well. Rick is a living example of that. Yeah. And you've been telling your friends there to come in. Thanks to Imdisal for bringing in all these amazing artists from all over the world and introducing um, their type of music to us through this forum called Wired. So it's it's great and amazing work work that you're doing, Imtisal. So Rick, um, now tell me about the food in Pakistan. Have you been consuming any of the Pakistani meals here? Yes. Is it too spicy for you? <laughs> it's a little bit spicy it for me. So I think you've been too polite. A little bit spicy, but right? But I love the breakfast. <laughs> oh, I you love don't. it. What I do you mean? You, is he talking about the beans, sausages? Oh, so you're not typically <laughs> having our breakfast. Come on, Rick, that's not fair. Ah, yeah, I thought it was the, the typical. No, maybe no, maybe no. shami kebab. No, yeah. why don't you take I him to old Lahore and make him have some halwa puri? That's the real part. <laughs> he had a bad breakfast. stomach last night. and Well, now he can have he a bad had stomach. He had halwa puri. He hasn't yet. Oh no, you're missing out on such a great meal. It's not spicy at all. It's all it's sweet. It's his fault. I'll take it tomorrow. Imtisal, you've done so <laughs> much for this country and you don't I will feed him, him halwa puri. It's I was worried if he's so sick unfair. before the gig, I would have been screwed. So I'm glad that he... Now I can take you everywhere. Okay, perfect. So now I don't care. So tomorrow morning halwa puri. Yeah. Perfect. I will do that. Done. Yes. It's <laughs> the most... In fact, the last person I was interviewing on this show, again a foreign national, and she said she loves the halwa puri here. So, so have you tried any of the other Pakistani meals? Yeah, I tried uh, like... Uh, oh, so you know pretty much about the yeah, barbecue. Kukus and yeah, Kukus He's done all of that. Yeah. Right. So and what, then, which one was your favorite? Oh my God. I, I think because it was so spicy, the food. <laughs> I tried like... Uh, but I don't remember. Okay, I so I think he's not big on I the food here. I think Malai is easier for them yes. to eat because yes. it's yeah. less spicy. So, uh, in, fact, in fact, his tolerance is slightly higher than Alberto's. The, <laughs> the other one, yeah. I mean, if, you, if you've lived in the US, your tolerance is high. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'd really like to thank you too. Imtisal, thank you for doing uh, your country a favor by um, bringing in foreign nationals to Pakistan and being a great host. You're giving you out a positive message to the much. world and uh, we learned so much from you and we've learned so much from you about Brazil today and uh, I definitely do intend to go there and I recommend that one must if you love to have fun, if you like to see great beaches, if you like meeting friendly people when you travel then do go to Brazil and thank you Rick for coming in, keep coming to Pakistan and I welcome you. you again to Pakistan and I hope that your peers, your friends, your family, they also come to Pakistan. It's a great place to visit, for sure. I call it a hidden gem in the world, which is being discovered now. So thank you again. You I shall see you next week, same time. Keep watching Discover Pakistan.